Hey everybody, Sebastian from Sea Bass Outdoor here. Uh, I've been putting a lot of uh, videos on how to set up your fish finder uh, on your boat. But us Canadian, we get ice for four or five months and we go ice fishing. Uh, I'll show you my setup, how to rig your, your fish finder uh, to be portable and uh, being able to go ice fishing. So first, I went to Princess Auto, a Canadian Tire. They got a durable box like this. It was on special. I think it was 40 bucks. Uh, special for 20. Um, I drilled a hole through here. Uh, not comestically com properly, but I drilled a hole here. Um, and I lined up my five uh, screws so I can have it, my fish finder, so I can install it like this. Um, so we'll show you. You basically, uh, come, it comes with a set of set screws, your fish finder, most fish finders, especially with the hummingbird. Um, so what you do is you make sure your unit's right up where you want it. You set up your set screws. I put two very quickly here, just to hold it because I'm doing a video here. Um, it's important you put the washer. It adds strength to your structure here. Um, well, I've installed it. I've only put three, uh, three of the set screws in. It's pretty tight. It's not gonna come off. You go buy a 12 volt battery at your local fish uh, fishing store. Um, Princess Auto will have them in Canadian Tire as well, I believe. Some of the Canadian Tire. Uh, so I've cut out where I can put a battery. I put two batteries in mine. It's a big unit. Um, I went and bought. Um, the ice fishing transducer Amazon has the best price for them uh, anywhere else is, is, is about $110 Amazon is I think I, I paid for mine for like $70 Canadian uh, so I got my, my, my transducer which I'll plug into the unit and it's secured and I have my power cable which I'll set up straight up and this unit is a uh, as you'll be able to see it's the 1159 I power it up it's got GPS I don't need the puck on it um, and there you have it you go you can go ice fishing uh, this unit is awesome it doesn't pick up the interference as, as some other units um, and I've been using it for two years now, ice fishing, and it, it, it's night and day. Like the bigger screen, it seems to be overkill, but it does it for me for Lakers. I can see a blimp coming through, and I can start moving my lure. Um, it's night and day. So that's how I set up my my uh, my fish finder for ice fishing. <clears throat> so with the fact that I have two batteries, this stays like this. I can go ice fishing. All I do is I open it, I put my transducer through the hole. I'm good. Um, what you want to what you want to do is, um, you know, obviously set up your speed, your chart speed to be at 10 uh, for your for your 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 solar. It's not working. I'm not in the water right now. And the second thing you want to do is have your beam select at 200 hertz, and you want to be in max mode. If you're fishing 10 feet or more, you want to be in max mode. You want to be able to see your water. Uh, 200 hertz and max mode. Uh, turn the fish ID off. You don't need it. I prefer the palette number three, that color. Um, and the noise filter, depending if I'm fishing community place or by myself, I'll play with that. Uh, usually leave it on medium. And uh, the transducer is a 50-200. Um, that's it. Uh, that's how I use my unit. I also got a, a skidoo, so I'll use this this graph to go you know, to go to go and 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 find me a find me a spot. I don't need to use my phone for the Navionics. So, yeah, if you got any questions, just let me know. That's the the, the best way I find to set up your fish your fish finder. I got another one set up here, as you can see, for uh, for my clients um, when I take them ice fishing. Hope you enjoy.